this rather monstrous thing is uh, another eBay special. It's an ultraviolet uh, nail varnish curing uh, device. And basically speaking, it's got, as you can see inside, it's got four ultraviolet tubes, four 9 watt ultraviolet tubes. And uh, on the case, it's got a switch that can choose between continuous on, off, or timed. And when you press the time button, the tubes uh, strike up and it runs for about two minutes before turning off and that cures the, the nail varnish. Now, um, I got this to try a little experiment. I actually got it to take to bits to see uh, what sort of quality was because these tubes, these ultraviolet uh, it's UVA tubes, um, these are normally quite expensive. So getting four included uh, for the money is, is quite surprising. These tubes can also be used, they're also used for uh, things like insect uh, attractors and also for exposing ultraviolet circuit boards, uh, sensitive circuit boards. So what I did was, since it's got this nice big cutout in the bottom, I got a bit of circuit board laminate and I put a transparency, I, I made a quick transparency up, uh, put it on the laminate, put a bit of glass on top uh, because UVA passes through glass and that kept it flat onto the print circuit board material. I stuck this over it and pressed the button for the two minute timer and it developed it perfectly. The circuit boards came out absolutely fine. So these things actually have the use of, um, well, for the money, uh, I think this was £14 uh, all inclusive of shipping. And you couldn't buy the tubes for that normally. Although I do notice that they say spare tubes are available at uh, four for four pounds. So um, that's the power of mass production. So um, let's uh, unplug this um, and open it up. Let's see how good it's made inside. So um, six screws in the bottom. Actually, you know what? I may unplug these tubes because uh, I don't want to break them. So that's one. Now I'm trying to think where I can put them. It's not going to get them broken. Put them down over there. Two. Three. These are the bi-pin uh, U-shaped tubes, uh, which have a kind of, well, I'm guessing they've got a starter arrangement inside them. I don't know if it's just a standard starter or designed for high frequency ballasts, either a capacitor or a PTC thermistor, I'm not 100% sure. But there's the four tubes out. I'll keep taking the screws out. It was available uh, in pink as well. I was very tempted to get the pink one just because I quite like the, the whole uh, aspect of pink things exploding forcibly uh, when plugged into the mains. It's the whole Barbie gone wrong thing. So, almost there are the screws. Not expecting an awful lot in here. Thinking that the ballast is going to be really, really tacky. Not sure what it's going to be or whether it's even going to be actually running the tubes correctly. Oh, here we go. Oh, right, okay. First big surprise. Four separate chokes. Um, one per lamp. And the circuitry. Um, I'm going to get these... Uh, I'm going to get that circuit board out and get the, make sure this is on the plug, which it is. Take these screws out. There's the chip in there that I'm guessing. Uh, I don't think it will be the <coughs> ballast chip. I think it will be um, to do with the timing. Maybe just a standard timing chip. Don't really know. I'll find out shortly. So um, let's uh, try and get this thing out of here. I'm just going to take a quick picture of where all the wires go before I take this out, as one does, because uh, then I'll remember where everything goes. I put it back again. So I'll just get my camera out here. This is uh, where this Qubit P6 phone is quite nice. It's very good at uh, taking close up pictures. 
So anything I should know here? Oh, I like the way they've used the green as the live. That's that's nice. That's a nice professional touch. Um, okay, let's uh, start getting wires off this thing. Snips. My apologies if I've gone off picture momentarily. I'll bring this back into picture soon enough. All right. Yeah, see? Live came in, into the fuse holder, and green coming back out. Green's not really a good choice for the live. So what we got here? Um, I'll just leave it, leave it connected. The, these um, lamp holders are all just moulded in, which I suppose saves money, really. Yeah, quite neat, actually. Um, <clears throat> what do we have here? Well, the timing circuitry has... Um, goes from live through the capacitor, through the resistor here, then a capacitive dropper. Then there's a zener. Um, and that's feeding a, it's got a capacitor there, which is referenced to neutral. Um, so that's sort of, um, it's a capacitive dropper reference to one side of the main supply. Um, feeding that chip, which once again, rather suspiciously, is looking like a picked style microcontroller with just four of its eight pins connected. It's got the power pins there connected. Um, and then from one of the power pins, from positive goes through the button to an input, so that's probably just being pulled high internally, uh, pulled low internally, and then being pulled high when you push the button. And then the other output that's being used is just going through a resistor, a 1K resistor, the look of it, to what I'm guessing is a sensitive triac. A sensitive triac with a capacitor to neutral? That's odd. Anyway, that's interesting. And then it switches on the ballast. Uh, which is bypassed completely when you put the switch into the manual position. The ballast looks like a typical compact fluorescent lamp ballast. Um, it's got this little feedback transformer and the two transistors. Um, but all these chokes are common, so the current is divided between all the lamps. And there's also a series capacitor um, there too with half the series capacitors going to one side of the supply and half going to the other. Yeah, because there's a little, there's a rectified supply in here, which is what you'd expect really, and there's a smoothing capacitor. Yeah, you know what, this is quite nicely made. I wasn't expecting this. I, some of these um, circuits tend to just really drive the tubes badly. They sort of basically use them like the old emergency lights do. They just run them cold cathode in a high, high voltage supply. But this one actually seems to have used something resembling a compact fluorescent lamp supply with four outputs. Um, yeah, but you know what? This is quite a nice little design. Yeah, not bad at all. Certainly for the money. That's, that's ridiculous, the money. Uh, and that's about it. So um, you can use it for developing circuit boards, which is handy. Um, and of course, curing the nail lacquer on your nails if you are so inclined. Or I suppose doing anything that requires ultraviolet curing. Yeah, quite neat. Not bad at all.